So the first thing we do, we get off, and we're gonna have a kind of a bit of a recce of the change rooms and everything, and the best way to go about it, and how we're gonna set it all up, and then get going. Get me across, that's the one. Fruit that helps us. Wait, 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 wait. We'll put both on as well. I've been, this is my fourth year as Kitman and my sixth year as a coach. Um, kind of be around more information, so more tackle information, help my coaching hopefully. And then it's an enjoyable job at times. I think learning and seeing players go through their journey from the coaching side of it into the hopefully first team. I think this is year 14. 14. The best bit. Match day experience, I think. Because that's what you work towards all week, isn't it? When you're printing up all the shirts and whatnot. I know the team, so I've just got to work out where I'm starting. Leave that one for So, starting 11 in units. So, goalkeeper, then the two centre halves next to him. Scotty on the left, Cookie on the right. Um, then the fullbacks will sit together, central midfielders will sit together, then it will go Brennan, Morgan, Jesse, and then Taywo to replicate the starting 11 so they sit next to each other. When they arrive and things, and they can discuss the game and whatnot. We come early because if you forget anything, you've always got half a chance of getting in there like my dad would bring some gear up for me if we'd forgot something. I think we did last season, we've got one thing, but sometimes it happens. There's a lot to carry, so. No, you either panic or you try and fix it on the spot. So it depends what it is. As long as it's not boots or anything, we're all right, aren't we, really? Boots, Benny Osborne's boots, bolting away. My dad brought them for me. Was that the worst thing we forgot, Dan? I, I was struggling on the spot, remind me, because you know better. The steamer. Oh yeah, the steamer. The Where steamer. was that? Oh, uh, we were ducking and diving at Reading. Reading, yeah. So some of the boys use steamers and we forgot the steamer. Yeah. We use Reading steamer. <laughs> we can probably do it in 50 minutes, probably, from start to finish. Yeah. I agree with that. I don't mind, to be honest with you. It's nice to go away just to see other stadiums and then obviously other fans, but home game's always home, isn't it? So, love that home feeling. I think both are the same now because we're based at the academy now. So, in terms of a working aspect, every game's an away game, I guess, because you have to load up everything on the van, down to the stadium, offload it. Similar to how we've done it today, really. I'm going posters next. Luckily, Dan packs it so it's in order, but for some reason, I remember everyone's boots. I could name everyone's boots and everyone's size. Some take two, some take three, some take four. Depends on their mood, normally. Cookies. Boots is definitely a team effort, though. A mixture at the moment. So, myself and Dan, if the 18s aren't in, or match day minus one normally. Myself and Dan will clean them just because it gets it done and it's easier that way. Organisation. See, I can't really answer that because I don't want to big myself up. But it's more aimed at Rom, this one, but you have to have a good personality to be around the lads, which is something Rom definitely has. I think the lads all really enjoy being around Rom. I think they do myself sometimes. I think I can get a bit more annoying than Rom, though. I'm more serious trying to get things ready. I think people skills, being able to kind of relate to the players in respect of just kind of not judge them, just speak to them as humans rather than players, and that's probably the best bet for me. That way, good relationships, good rapport, they're honest with you. And that way, you can say what you want to within reason. I think being honest with them, because they'll ask you questions as well, so you've got to be honest. That, that's it for me. 
think that's the most important and obviously like, it's like Dan said, organisation, make sure everything's ready and any time if it's missing, if it is missing, you can get it covered or sort it out accordingly. So. After the game, just the reverse of this really, but in a lot more chaotic manner. Again, me and Mum will, after about 10, 15 minutes, we'll get split. And then I'll be running back and forth to the van, loading up what Rom's packing in here ready and going to the opposition and giving the shirts that the lads want to swap and whatnot and getting the, the return off the other kit men as well, which is important to have a good relationship with the opposition kit men because you never know when you might need each other. Just like with the steamer. It's one of them things where we do work together, but we don't, if that makes sense, because we'll just split the majority of the day. I'm on the pitch normally with the players, and obviously he's doing the shirts and the kit for the, the following game. Sometimes we come together, it's kind of first thing in the morning, or end of the day really, isn't it, before I normally end up going. I've got a young family, so I prefer to get in a bit later if I can. Whereas Rom, from the first day I've met him, I don't think he's ever slept past 5 a.m. So he's always in early. So he'll come and do the early part of the day. I'll join at around eight o'clock. Ron, what time do you get in? You get in sometimes. Uh, quarter to six normally. Yeah. Yeah, it's what you make it. But you kind of know that before you take the job on, don't you? It's not a simple nine to five job. We know that. But luckily, but knew that. yeah, I did 23s before, so I kind of knew what was going on. No, not yet. Cheers. Top man, thank you. Cheers, Rob. Unwritten rule for Kitman. You bring food for each other. We laugh and joke, but we do have a good relationship. I think it's one of those where when you're with someone all the time, you kind of you've got to, aren't you? Yeah. That could be, like I've said, it could be a long journey. So if you're like, for example, Bournemouth or Brighton could be a very long, tedious, boring journey, couldn't it? There and back. Yeah. So. I think what's important though is obviously, like you say, the family life, but having an understanding partner, you can, you know what I mean, support that and can make it a lot harder than, than what they do. So that's yeah. always good. It's five o'clock, so good time. What we'll do now, we'll wait. The medical staff will come in probably in about 45 minutes or so, and they'll put out their stuff. So then wait for the players to come in, start again. <laughs>